Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning August 17th, 2020. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I have courses over at Gumroad and thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. If you can just make sure that you are subscribed, hit that notification bell, that helps out a ton and I thank you for that. All right, so this is sort of a continuation of last week's message. I was explaining last week, I do think that we're probably going to be having to take these messages in like, you know, longer than a week chunks, but, you know, feeding it out, scheduling these videos little by little, I think that's how we need to do it right now. I will keep you posted on (laughs) how the messages are coming through. So I'm not going to do an auto write. We already did that for last week. This just feels like a continuation. So what is cracking open within you as a person this now as things are getting revealed people are questioning themselves they're questioning how uh how they've been living questioning how how they've conducted themselves that's how that's what i want to say there how have we conducted ourselves we might become hyper aware of um being too defensive or being too self-centered or some people are not going to do well with this. Some people are not going to do well with this. You know, when we have good intentions behind something, but really we're being diminishing or if we want to try to achieve a goal and we realize we've been, you know, thinking, oh, you know, I need to win at all costs kind of thing. It's like a giant halt, right? So it can feel like, er. So it is like we're getting more and more of the hint of what is to come. So August is really kind of a buildup, okay? Now, the nice part of this is that we're learning to go with the flow a little bit more. (laughs) We're learning to expect the unexpected we're learning to adapt. And if we are willing to look at ourselves, again, we all have to do this, we might take a different road. We might choose a different path. We might just choose, you know, I want to back up here because they're saying the labels on the choices. We, as human beings, we love to jump to conclusions. We love to go, oh, a different path. That means I have to change my eating habits. I mean, maybe, (laughs) but you don't have to put a definition around it, right? So you don't have to just, it's not just one area of your life. It's about cracking open and revealing and living more authentically in all areas of your life. And that means facing ourselves, not to beat ourselves up necessarily, but rather, what do I bring to the table? What do I contribute? in this world. Now we see people overcorrecting. They think that being spiritual means being positive all the time. That doesn't work. (laughs) Doesn't work. Why? Because you're not yet a fifth dimensional being. And I swear to good God in heaven, if somebody comments, I'm in 5D because I bleh, but did you levitate? Okay. You send me video of you levitating Okay, and then I'll be like making an ever popular apology video. (laughs) This is not bringing ego to your spiritual growth. Okay, that's what we're getting at here. If you were really in 5D, I mean, we can live in 5D aspects, but what I'm getting at here is that we're not without our bodies. We're not without our third dimensional ego consciousness. We still have this human filter functioning, right? So that's going to play into this a little bit. So I know what I'm saying here. It may not be clicking right now. It will as we go through the week, uh, unless you're in complete denial about what you can work on within yourself. Some people are like that. They think they're perfect. They think there's nothing to be changed and they just keep bumbling through life. And I cannot warn you hard enough that if you don't start turning turning back to who you really are, which is a loving being, not just someone who just steps on everybody else, you are going to have the hardest time, the hardest time come the fall. I want to specifically, maybe even address, seems to be, speaking of the YouTube community, 
It seems to be a thing to make jokes about a certain group. People making their little symbols and all of that. And a lot of these people live in LA. A lot of them, like I say, are, are YouTubers um, who, I don't know, I don't know what they're trying to do. Because I, I sense that they're not actually a part of all that. And yet, they see maybe they see celebrities doing it. And so they're kind of on autopilot and they're doing it too. Knock it off. Like, are you kidding me? Knock it off. You're going to land on the wrong side of history. How about we let go of what we've been talking about, the ego pursuits. Now, we all love success. We all love feeling like we've done a good job and, you know, that we're connecting with other people. And, you know, those are the nice things that success brings us. There can also be a very dangerous side to it if we're not careful, right? Be careful who you emulate. Be careful who you look up to. Whether you are a YouTuber, uh, living in LA, doing your thing, whatever, you think it's cute and funny to be a part of that culture, it's not cute or funny. Or if you are in the spiritual community and you're trying to emulate the people that I see it all the time. You know, if you're open and sensitive, you know when people are not anchored. You know when people are just waking up. You know when they're just trying to grasp onto anything, right? So there's a beauty in sensing that and we can help one another out. But if someone is taking the third dimensional ego consciousness approach to life and applying that to your spiritual growth, that's where we start hitting some walls. This is where we start seeing people and just doing whatever they can to get ahead, right? And it's not authentic and that's going to burn us so bad if we don't turn that around, okay? The reason why we have things that start manifesting like um, just awful collective grief from some sort of tragedy, God forbid, the reason why that happens is it, it's, that's one of the last things that actually gets us to come together. And if we don't turn this corner, eventually we're going to get to a place where people don't even bond during those times. Where it really is every man for himself. You're here with me, right? It doesn't feel right when I say that. It doesn't seem possible then you have learned nothing from 2020, right? You've learned nothing about how quickly things can change. We're about to see just how evil human beings can be. And I know that's scary. We're going to see the back end of what has been going on. Again, little by little, it's going to get revealed. If you fall down, as this gets revealed, then you become one of the people that needs the triage, right? You become one of the people that other people have to lift up before we <laughs> keep it moving, right? No matter who's behind what, there are people who are being affected. And my energy is going to go to the people who are affected to see if I can do anything to help, all right? So yes, truths are going to be revealed, but we're going to keep battling each other. If someone thinks, well, I, I know the backstory of this, therefore, you know, I'm not going to support this, that, and the other while people are suffering. Does this make sense? Let me put this simply, as simply as I can. There are going to be things that shock us. There are going to be things that make us angry. There are going to be things that... You know, humans who have been programmed to be the robots, right, um, start to go just on their auto response. And there are going to be innocent people who are affected by this. And then when we go to help the innocent people, we get told we're basically stupid for doing that because none of this is real. You see this? You see how reality is starting to warp? And... And it's like, you know, everything's kind of what's real, what's not real. I want to say this is almost like dimension shifting. 
and we're in that weird part of it <laughs> where it looks like wavy water, okay? So let's be careful. Let's be careful. Let's be careful in just assuming we know the truth and the whole truth. And let's be careful to not jump in, you know, when we're not jumping in and helping people who need it because we think it's fake. I don't have all the answers, but the answers are going to be revealed. And in the meantime, we have to be the best human beings we can be. And that means looking at where can we make some adjustments in how we interact with one another. How can we show up more for our fellow human beings? And how can we show up more for ourselves so that we're healthy? That needs to be the focus right now. That way we are prepared. Let's get some cards. Put those there. Get these here. Okay. See what we have. <sighs> Giving things second thoughts before we jump ahead. Um, this is, I, I always say it wrong. Epidote? Epidote? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the message is go deeper. That's what we're being asked to do. We're being asked to go deeper. We can no longer just skim along the surface. I have clients who come to me and they explain, you know, how they, oops, sorry, how they got into, you know, a relationship, for example, and they start to go, and then it fell apart and I don't know why, which is a very you know, understandable thing. Like we want to know why things don't work out. And if we look at it deeply, we see that the reason why they got into the relationship was because they just wanted to get married. They were getting to a certain age. They just, I hear this a lot. <laughs> when am I going to get married? When am I going to marry? Why do you need to get married? Why don't you focus on being in love first? No, I need to be married or somehow I'm not validated. Like, okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not against marriage for, you know, some people. I think, you know, what, what does it matter what I think? I mean, do whatever's right for you. But if we're talking about having a pattern, for example, in love, well, maybe it's time to step back and reprioritize. And remember that if you want to have a marriage, you should have some deep connection with that person. Go deeper. Go deeper. Don't just get married because you want to be married as one example, or just accept a job because it pays a lot, right? but you know, you're going to be miserable. You know, you're going to have to work super long hours and you know, this sort of thing. So there's that. And then there's sort of the collective message of, we're going to have to look a little more deeply. Again, it's all about how the human brain functions. Um, put it above my microphone, <laughs> how the human brain functions, uh, what causes us to react and respond in the way that we do as humans. Do what you can to enjoy what you have. So uh, get some ingenuity going here. Okay, and enjoying your time at home if that's because I, I have been speaking to some people around the world and some places are going back down on lockdown and people are getting scared again, you know. So this is that time to start looking around your home and going, you know what? Maybe I should just sit down and have game night with the kids. Or, you know what, I have that whole stack of books over there that I purchased ages ago and never got to it. <laughs> All right, so the next card we have here is Agate, get back into balance. Look at this, right? So we're going to have a rough couple of weeks here, and then we're going to be able to get back into balance, okay? So, but you got to make an effort. That's what you got to do. You got to be focused on this. If you're focused more on what's wrong in your life and not focusing on what's already good, you know, that whole gratitude thing we talk about, you're going to have a rough time because everything is going to feel like you're being shredded. Okay. It's just going to feel like you're falling apart and who needs it. Right? So then we have <laughs> angel aura quartz lighten up. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's this, we have to, so being in touch with your spiritual team, of course, 
Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get the glare off the card. There we go. Uh, but lighten up says, you know, again, it's that whole message of if you're constantly focused on what's wrong, then you're in a place of constant fixing and constant worry and, you know, pushing and pushing that gets you into desperation. And then that pushes everything right out of your existence and the whole bit. So you do deserve to enjoy your life. Don't do this thing where you're like, I can't wait for everything to just get back to normal uh, because it's not going to get back to normal until we figure out how to be in a good space no matter what's going on in the world. And that doesn't mean denial. That doesn't mean denial. It just means I see that I'm processing. I'm helping the way that I can. I'm taking care of my own energy. I'm staying balanced. I'm staying grounded. Okay. Then we have Garnet. Ignite your passion. So this is igniting your passion in a healthy way. So not in a shallow way, not just trying to like have fights just to have fights, right? Because the good energy is not in an argument per se. It's good to put things out there and get people's opinions on it and then maybe uh, have a conversation. But what we're seeing is a lot of people just, you know, putting their opinions out and treating it as fact. Now, I know I'm somebody who stands up to that. <laughs> it's like, come on, back that up a little bit. Back it up. Boy, that's just what you choose to believe and therefore everybody has to fall in. I don't think so. It doesn't work like that. But Garnet is a love crystal as well. So finding what you love about life, finding how you can lovingly, hello, uh, communicate with another person. Okay. So there is that. Let me get organized here. And let's get a card here. And just one more out of this deck. Should do it. And then I'll record some Archangel uh, videos and we'll talk Law of Attraction as well. Beauty. Find the beauty in life. That's exactly what this is. Or you could spend time beautifying yourself. You should have seen what I was doing this morning. I had... <laughs> goopy creams all over my face and then when I wipe that off I put some patches under my eyes and I was like will this do anything I don't know <laughs> but like felt good it was nice so we have beauty orchid and yellow tiger swallowtail so this is very archangel Jophiel energy finding the beauty but not shallow beauty it's not shallow beauty it's beauty through wisdom it's beauty through uh, evaluating your perspective are we coming at everything from a place of fear, which would be understandable, no judgment, okay? Like completely understandable because it has been one of those kind of years. You know what I'm saying? So find the beauty of your life, find the beauty within. And if you are somebody who is just obsessed with your external beauty, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I, I love beautiful things too. I love to try to be as cute as I can be, you know, slapping this mug together and do my thing, right? But we can't get hung up on that. Right? We can't get hung up on that because it gets us down a very bad road. It gets us into a place of then needing that beauty to be seen and appreciated. And if somebody overlooks it, then who are we? Go deeper. Go deeper. What is your soul like? What kind of beauty is held there? Let that come up to the surface. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.